Have you ever considered God's law as the object of your love? Well, today we're going to look at Romans 7 and Psalm 119 to investigate what does Scripture have to say about love and God's commandments. Let's take a look. Shalom. Welcome to Rob on the Rock. I'm Rob Van Hoff. Over the last several weeks during our Sabbath Bible study, we've read through all of Psalm 119. Beautiful acrostic psalm. Of course, there's 176 verses, eight verses dedicated to each letter of the Hebrew Aleph Bet. And one of the recurring uh, themes in Psalm 119 is the love of God's law. And so I wanted to look at the verb love specifically in uh, Psalm 119 to see how it's used. And the, the Hebrew root is Aleph, He, Bet, Ahav. It's the same root used, the same verb used in the greatest commandment, the Ahavta, and you will love the Lord your God, etc. And uh, the Ahavta, and you will love your neighbor as yourself. Uh, but before looking at the verb ahav or love in Psalm 119, I want to look at this wonderful verse uh, that the Apostle Paul writes in Romans 7.22. The ESV uh, is very close to what I remember the King James being. I delight in the law of God in my inner being. The NASB has, I joyfully concur with the law of God in the inner man. So you can see there's uh, some uh, variance in how the tone uh, and the, the subtlety comes into English. There's some variance uh, there. But in both cases, the verbs chosen are delight with the law of God as the object or joyfully concur with. They're both positive uh, emotions stemming from the inner person the inner being. And by, by the inner man, Paul talks about the new creation person, the person uh, that is uh, exposed and naked and open before God, um, not trying to hide, for example, the, the true person. So there's a positive uh, evaluation, not just simply positive evaluation. The word delight and joyfully concur with are both appropriate renderings from this Greek. And God's law is the object of focus here. So with that in mind, with Paul's uh, statement here in Romans 7.22, I want to go through and look at the verb love or ahav, again, aleph, he, bet in Hebrew in Psalm 119. And these are all as they occur. You can do this with your own Bible program or online. You can use an old school concordance if you have a printed concordance. There's many ways that you could generate this list for yourself and conduct your own word studies. But here I'm looking at the verb ahav, um, and we're going to see its objects. Psalm 119.47, I shall delight in your commandments, which I love. So here we have the idea of delight and the concept of love to, in parallel. But the object of love here. The object of the psalmist's love are God's commandments, your commandments. Let's continue. Verse 48, the very next first verse, or the very next verse. I shall lift up my hands to your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. So again, another positive valuation of God's word. This is understood as revealed word. It's not the invention of man. Um, but again, the commandments are the object of the psalmist's love. Uh, verse 97, oh, how I love your law. This is the word Torah. Uh, commandments I didn't mention, mitzvot. Mitzvot are commandments. Uh, how I love your law, your Torah. It is my meditation all the day. May that be true for us. Continuing Psalm 113, or Psalm 119, verse 113. I hate those who are double-minded, but I love your Torah. Again, we have Torah as the object of the psalmist's love. Verse 119. So this is Psalm 119, 119. You have removed all the wicked of the earth like dross. Therefore, I love your testimonies. I love your testimonies 
edot, edot is the word here from Hebrew, ayin dalet, uh, edot, your testimonies. Ayin dalet vav tav, I should say, the feminine plural. Um, Psalm 119, 127. Therefore, I love your commandments. Again, this is mitzvot, above gold. Yes, above fine gold. Isn't that beautiful poetry? Let's continue here. Psalm 119, 132. Turn to me and be gracious to me after your manner with those who love your name. So now we have Shem, the word Shem, which is God's name, uh, as the object of the psalmist's love. Verse 140, your word is very pure. Therefore, your servant loves it. What's the object of love here? Uh, God's Imra. Imra, Aleph Mem Reish Imra is a word. Your word is very pure. Uh, verse 159, consider how I love your precepts. This is Pikudim, uh, Pikudim. Revive me, O Lord, or Adonai, according to your loving kindness. So Pikudim, precepts, this is another verse, uh, another synonym describing the object of the love of the psalmist. And uh, verse 163, I hate and despise falsehood, but I love your Torah, your love, or your law. And then we have Psalm 119, 165. Those who love your law, your Torah, have great peace. They have great shalom. Rav, uh, shalom Rav, it says, great shalom. Nothing causes them to stumble. So again, the object of love, your Torah. And then finally, we have Psalm 119, 167. My soul keeps your testimonies. Again, this is Edot, like we saw before. Ayin Dalet Vav Tav, Edot. And I love them, Me'od, it says, exceedingly. So here are uh, all the places where we see the verb love in Psalm 119. Most of the time it's I love in the first person. Sometimes it's he's describing those who love, ohavim, those who love your Torah, for example, like in 165. So let's just look at the tally now. If we tally, I made a little tally uh, of the verb love in Psalm 119. Your Torah is the object of the verb love four times. It takes the cake, your Torah. Your mitzvot, your commandments, three times. Coming in third place is your uh, edot, your testimonies, twice. Then we've got a tie for fourth place uh, for just one time each. Precepts, it's pikudim, word, imra, and name or shem. These are the 12 uh, objects of the verb, of the single verb, ahav, love, in Psalm 119. So law, commandments, testimonies, precepts, word, and name. It uh, causes me to go back to, to what we saw there at the beginning with Paul's um, statement in Romans 7.22. I delight in the law of God in my inner being. I joyfully concur with the law of God in the inner man. And we could even confidently say, as the psalmist of old, I love the law of God in my inner being. I hope this small reflection or meditation on love, the object of, of the psalmist love in Psalm 119, will give uh, some good food for thought for you as you consider the place of the word of God in your own life. Shalom.